Hello all. In this video, we shall see how to use the ultrasonic modules with uh, Arduino. There are different types of uh, ultrasonic modules. Some are with 3 pins, some others with 4 pins, and some others with 5 pins. We can use any of these modules with a very little modification in code. Generally, 3 pin modules are called ping modules. It is from Parallax company and generally it is not available in uh, Indian market only 4 and 5 pins are available these are the types of ultrasonic modules first one is the 3 pin ping module first pin is ground, second one is 5 volt and third pin is signal that signal pin handles both the trigger and uh, echo and next one is the 4 pin ultrasonic module with first pin VCC second one is trigger third one is echo and fourth pin is ground and the other one is the five pin ultrasonic module first is VCC second is trigger third echo and four is mentioned as out and the final pin is five ground this out pin is uh, nothing to do with output it is only a mode select pin let us see the operating principle of uh, ultrasonic module from Arduino we are generating a 10 microsecond pulse burst and uh, supplying to the ultrasonic trigger pin as soon as the ultrasonic module receives the pulse burst it generates an 8 cycles of uh, ultrasonic uh, sonic burst that is of 40 kilohertz and then it makes the echo pulse pin high if, it, if ultrasonic module senses any object it returns back the burst and the echo line will go low the period of the echo line is used for calculation of distance as soon as the ultrasonic module generates an ultrasonic burst it will make the echo line high and if it receives any signal it will make that echo line low so the echo line pulse width is used for distance calculation this is the principle of operation first let us see how to connect a 5 pin module with Arduino this is the 5 pin module, ultrasonic module the fourth pin of uh, this module is printed as out but this is a mode select pin and nothing related to output if you leave out this, if you leave out this uh, fourth pin this module will behave as a 4 pin module and if you ground it then it behaves as a 3 pin module in case you are grounding this fourth pin you have to leave out second pin also so that uh, the third pin handles both trigger and echo let us connect this 5 pin module to Arduino I am using a relimit connector, 5 pin relimit connector the first pin of uh, module goes to VCC this is the 5 volt supply that goes to first pin the last pin is ground last pin is ground and second pin is trigger second pin of ultrasonic module is trigger that we are connecting to second pin of Arduino 0, 1, 2 and third pin is echo and this echo pin we have to connect to 3 of Arduino now the connections are over the fourth pin we are going to leave it out if you are leaving this fourth pin then it will behave as a four pin module now let us upload the code to Arduino board this is the code for testing ultrasonic module here we are defining pin 3 as echo pin and uh, pin 2 as trigger pin and then in setup we start the serial communication we will start the serial library at 9600 baud and declare echo pin as input and uh, trigger pin as output and inside loop we are generating a trigger of 10 microsecond burst first we make the trigger pin low 
and then after a delay of micro 2 microseconds we make that uh, trigger pin high again for 10 microseconds it will remain high and then we are making it again low so this is generating a 10 microsecond trigger burst now we shall see the distance calculation we are assigning a variable distance as a uh, float variable and then we are using the pulse in command the result of pulse in pulse in command is assigned to the distance variable the pulse in command takes two variables one is the pin and the second is the value we want to read pulse on echo pin so we give echo pin as uh, first parameter and the second parameter is value the value is type of pulse to read either it is high or low we are using high it returns the length of high pulse in microsecond the pulse in command waits for the pin to go high and then it starts timing again it waits for pin to go low and stops timing width of the echo pulse is used for distance calculation it returns zero if no pulse starts within one second now the distance is uh, divided by 58 to convert to centimeter and then finally it is uh, printed as centimeter before next uh, pulse is generated we are giving a delay of 200 milliseconds now connect the USB cable to your PC open up the Arduino ID and uh, upload the code before that you have to select the serial port where the Arduino is connected and then click upload now the code is uploaded to Arduino board now you can see the transmit LED blinking that is it has started generating burst open up the serial monitor place some object in front of the ultrasonic you can see the distance uh, printed in centimeters now we shall see how to use the same setup for testing a 4 pin ultrasonic module remove the USB connection now this is the 4 pin module so check up the connection first one is uh, VCC first one goes there is no change in 5 pin module we have connected this last pin to ground now there is no fifth pin so remove that uh, fifth pin connect the fourth pin to ground fourth pin is grounded second pin is to second pin trigger is to second of Arduino and three of echo to three of Arduino so there is no ch uh, change in so there is no changes in this wiring only the ground pin we are going to change that last pin we have used as ground now it is fourth pin is ground now connect the USB cable upload the code open up the serial monitor now the 4 pin module is working for the same code the only connection we have changed is the ground pin that is we have shifted to 4th pin same code is working for 4 pin as well as 5 pin now let us see how to use the new ping library for Arduino go to this website and download the Arduino new ping library
click on download and select the latest version click to download and then go to the download page right click and then unzip it this is the new ping library just copy this uh, folder go to the location where you store the Arduino IDE and click on libraries folder open up the libraries folder right click and then paste the folder now now the new ping library is inside your library of uh, Arduino if you if you open up the folder you can see some an example folder and then a C++ file and a header file open the examples folder select all the examples just copy it and go to the Arduino IDE examples folder and then paste the examples if you open up the IDE under file examples you can see all the new ping examples you can select new ping example this is the code for new ping where the first sentence includes the new ping header file and then the trigger pin is uh, defined as 12 and echo pin is 11 accordingly you have to connect the ultrasonic uh, sensor that is a trigger pin of ultrasonic should go to 12th pin of Arduino and echo pin of uh, sensor should go to 11th pin of Arduino now if you upload this code open up the serial monitor you can see the ultrasonic uh, sensor in action thank you for watching